Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am thrilled to introduce you a game changing IoT platform called KME Smart. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, KME Smart makes it incredibly easy to create any IoT project with absolutely no code. Yes, you heard that right, no coding required. KME Smart is a versatile and powerful IoT platform that allows you to add as many as devices you want. And the best part is, it is completely free to use. So in this video, I will explain how to flash firmware in ESP32 board, how to configure the devices and how to pair with your smartphone. And along with this, I will also make a small project in which I will control two relays, one RGB LED strip using smartphone app, through manual push button, through IR remote, through Alexa smart speaker. And not only this, we can also monitor the real time feedback in the app, if the device is on or not. Along with all this, we can also monitor the real time temperature and humidity value in the app. So we have lot in plate. So sit tight and enjoy the video. Now let's get into this video. Go to kmaismart.com website. You will get this link in the description. Open this website and then click on this installation option. In this page, you will get all the information about installation. Like how to pair in different mode push button for pairing, pairing through smart connect, pairing through access point. I will explain all these things in detail while pairing. In KME smart app, you can also add countdown timer. You can add inching. You can locally schedule the relay to turn on and turn off. You can add scenes. You will get all the details here how to do that all these things. You can connect with Alexa to control your devices through Alexa smart speaker. And this KME smart IoT cloud right now supports ESP32, ESP32 S3, ESP32 C3, ESP8266 and some more ESP versions soon add on this KME smart IoT cloud. Now we need to download the KME tool to flash the firmware in the ESP board. And this tool is available for Windows as well as for iOS. But for iOS it is still in beta version. So I recommend to you use Windows version. So click on this windows option button and download the KME tool for firmware flashing. Now open downloaded file and extract the compress.gif file. Open extracted folder. Here you will get KME config application. Open this KME application. Here we will flash firmware in the ESP32 using this tool. Now here in right top corner, click on this 3 dash icon. Now connect your ESP32 board with your computer. From here, select the COM port in which your ESP32 board is connected. After that, click on this connect button. Here you will get your device ID, MAC address. Now click on upload firmware. This KME tool will automatically detect the connected ESP32 board in your computer and eventually upload the firmware. Easy and simple. Here firmware is successfully uploaded and it is ready for configure. Now again on the right top corner, click on this plus icon button. Now from here, we can add devices we want. Here we have option for DST sensor, contact, relays, RGB, dimmer, remote and option for connecting separate Wi-Fi LED and option for pairing button. Here we have option for analog sensor. If we want any kind of analog sensor in our project, then select this analog sensor option. In this project, I am going to use a DST sensor, two relays, one RGB and a remote. You can choose as many as devices you want to connect. This is the list of all devices I have selected. Let's configure this one by one. Click here to change the name of device. You can give any name you want. I am going with DST itself. You can even change the icon of each devices. Now click here to select the pin on which you want to connect your device. I want to connect at GPIO 5. And here select the DST type. I am going with DST 22. Now let's configure this one. Click here to change the name of this device. You can give any name you want. I am giving it switch 1. Change the icon as per your need. Select the GPIO pins. Here for output I am selecting GPIO pin 19. And for input I am going to use pull up. This pull up and pull down is completely depends on your hardware. So select as per your hardware. Then for input I am selecting GPIO pin 23. And input type is push. 
if you are using push button then select push or if you are using switch button then select switch this depends completely on your hardware in similar way configure the second relay i am giving it switch 2 here i change the icon for output i am selecting gpio 33 input type is pull up gpio 22 for input and input button type is push now for the rgb change the name and icon as you want select the gpio for output select the input type as pull up select the gpio for input and also input type as push similarly for remote rename it if you want change the icon and select the gpio pin on which you want to connect the ir receiver led i am selecting gpio 12 after configuring all the devices click on this upload button to upload the firmware here firmware is successfully uploaded quick and easy and click here to save this device configuration file and in future if you want this device configuration settings then you can load this device from this button here i want to say that this kme tool is very easy and quick to upload the firmware and best part of this kme tool is that this will automatically detect the esp32 board which is best part of this kme tool and firmware is also uploaded very quickly here i have successfully configured all the devices and uploaded the firmware now let's see how we can configure smartphone app and how we can pair our devices with the app now you need to download this kme smart app in your smartphone and this app is available for both ios as well as for android now connect the dst sensor relays push button ir receiver and rgb led strip as per the configuration we did in kme tool for reference you can use this circuit diagram in this video i have used leds in place of relays so make the connections as per this diagram both are same both work in same way and both these circuit diagrams are available in the description now in the esp32 press and hold this boot button for 2 second to make the esp32 to go in pairing mode if this led blinks every after half seconds then it is in smart connect mode and if we press boot button for 4 seconds then it will go in access point mode and led will blink every after 1.5 seconds and this led is also work as a wifi led if this led is glowing that means esp32 is not connected with wifi once esp32 get connected with wifi this led will turn off as you can see led blinks every after half seconds so we can pair through smart connect now open this kme smart app Uh, in your case you need to sign up first i have already signed up so i don't require to do this thing again sign up and then click on this plus icon on the right top corner then tap on add devices here enter ssid and password of your router or hotspot and one thing make sure it is 2.4 gigahertz network because esp32 only support 2.4 gigahertz network uh, after giving wifi credentials tap on connect here it says select the mode in my case it is via smart connect so i am selecting smart connect here it will take few second to search and pair with esp32 here it got the devices now click on add device here if you want you can change the name of this device uh, i am changing it to techno lab home automation it will take few second to join the wifi network here as you can see led on the esp32 is turned off it means now our esp32 is connected to the wifi network now we can easily turn on and turn off devices through this button now open this device and access individual devices inside this as you can see real time temperature and humidity value is shown here and also we can easily control relays and rgb led strip from this smartphone app and apart from this app you can also control the relays and rgb led from the manual push button as well and also we get the real time feedback in the app and if you want you can change the color of this rgb led strip from the app as well it works like charm very low latency and it works flawlessly amazing
now let's see how we can integrate Alexa with it. For this open Amazon Alexa app and then tap on more. Then tap on skills and game. Here search KME. Then click on this KME smart. Tap on enable to use. Here you need to give the username and password of KME account. That is email ID and password that you have used while making account on KME smart app. After entering the details, tap on login. Here it will automatically link the KME smart account to the Alexa app. Now click on next button. Here Alexa will take few seconds and it will automatically connect all the devices. Uh, now click on devices. Here you can see all the devices that is switch 1, switch 2 and RGB is connected to the Alexa app. Now we can easily control our devices from this Alexa app as well. Let me show you. As you can see, I am able to control devices from this Alexa app as well. If you have Alexa smart speaker with you, then you can control your devices from that Alexa smart speaker as well by giving voice commands. Let me show you. Alexa, turn on RGB. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch 1. Okay. Alexa, turn off switch 2. Okay. Alexa, turn off switch 1. Okay. Alexa, turn off RGB. Okay. As you can see, I am able to control my devices from Alexa smart speaker as well. And this is not end here. Let's see how we can configure IR remote to control these devices through any IR remote. Here I am going to use my sound system IR remote. You can use any IR remote you want. Now in the app, tap on plus icon button on the right top corner. Then select remote. Click on this plus icon button. Now click any button of your IR remote. Now for the button pressed on the IR remote, add the task. For this particular button that I just pressed, I am turning on switch 1. Now tap on the save button to save it. For another button, again tap on plus icon and press any other button on your IR remote. And for this button, I am turning off the switch 1. Again click on save button to save this. Then again click on this plus icon. In similar way, add IR remote button for switch 2 to turn on and turn off and also for RGB. Here we have successfully added IR remote button for switch 1, switch 2 and for RGB. Now we can easily control our devices from this IR remote as well. We can easily control the RGB switches from the button that we have just configured. As you can see, I am able to control switches and RGB LED strip from this IR remote as well. And also we get real time feedback in the app as well. Along with this, we can also monitor the real time temperature and humidity value from this app as well. Uh, now let's see some more feature of this KMA smart app. Here in the app, if you long press the switch, you will get a new window in which you can change the icon of switches. We get the timer feature here, where you can select the timer for any specific task. Like at any particular time, if you want to turn on or turn off the switch, you can do this from here by setting the timer. And next we have settings, in which we can select the default state for switches. And that state will reflect after restart of ESP32 or power cut. In my upcoming videos, I will make some cool projects using this timer feature of this app. Uh, now tap on this plus icon button on the right top corner. Then click on schedule. Then plus icon. From here you can schedule any task. For example, in any particular day at any particular time. If you want to turn on or turn off any device, you can do this from here. Just you need to select the day, hour and minute. 
एंड इवन यू कैन सेलेक्ट मल्टीपल डे फॉर द शेड्यूल जस्ट सेलेक्ट द पर्टिकुलर टाइम एंड एट द एक्शन अगेन टैप ऑन प्लस आइकन ऑन द राइट टॉप कॉर्नर देन ऑटोमेशन क्लिक ऑन प्लस आइकन हियर वी कैन ऑटोमेट द थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लिक ऑन दिस प्लस आइकन देन टेम्परेचर हियर सेलेक्ट द ग्रेटर इक्वल एंड स्मॉलर एंड टेम्परेचर वैल्यू हियर आई सेलेक्टेड टेम्परेचर ग्रेटर देन थर्टी फाइव डिग्री देन स्विच वन विल टर्न ऑन सिमिलरली यू कैन एड एज मैनी एज ऑटोमेशन यू वॉन्ट हियर दिस टाइम आई एम सेलेक्टिंग इफ टेम्परेचर गोज बिलो थर्टी फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस देन स्विच वन विल टर्न ऑफ इन सेम वे यू कैन एड एज मैनी एज ऑटोमेशन यू नीड और इन एनी वे यू वॉन्ट टू ऑटोमेट यूर अप्लायसेस इन माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज आई विल मेक सम कुल प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग दिस फीचर ऑफ के एम आई स्मार्ट हैप एंड एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस थिंग इन डिटेल फॉर दिस वीडियो दैट्स इट I hope you like this video and learn something new. Download Kemi Smart App and make some amazing projects. All the important links are available in the description. If you face any problem while configuring or pairing, you can contact me at this number through WhatsApp or you can mail me at support@technologyelectronics.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.